Hey guys, and welcome back to episode eight in this series where we are building a GraphQL API in Elixir Phoenix with the AppSync package. Um, so in this episode, we are just gonna finish up our um, authentication logic uh, so that we are able to return a JWT token when a user logs in. So let's get started. Okay, so now that we have our authenticate function implemented, let's go back to our session resolver. And in our session resolver, we can now reference this authenticate function in our accounts.sessions module. And what I want to do, and hang in here, because this is going to look a little bit weird, but it's going to make sense in a second. I'm going to do a with block. And I'm going to say, OK, user. And then I'm going to reference accounts dot session dot authenticates and what we're gonna put into our authenticate as a argument is our input and we're gonna end it by a do we're gonna remove this and put it in our with block so now what's gonna happen if our accounts.session.authenticate with the user input returns a tuple of OK user, we are going to return this tuple. And if we look at it now, we have a user that is going to be returned in our tuple. But we don't have a JWT token and a token yet. So we need to change something on here. And we're going to change something on here, and that's going to be an OK with a JWT token and the last argument we really don't care about and where this is going to come from is going to be empty for now because that's what we're going to implement now so um, in order to make a JWT token we are going to need a package and that's going to be guardian So let's go there. It's this um, package. So what we want to do is add this to our mix file. I'm going to go back into our mix file. And in here, I'm going to put a comma and then paste this in. Let's kill our server and run mix steps dot gets. Okay, so if we look at the documentation, what Guardian is, Guardian um, is a little package that will provide us with a few functions in which we can um, generate a JWT token. So if we look at the documentation, we can see that we create a module that uses Guardian. So let's just copy this. And in our app, so that's our Medium GraphQL API folder, let's create a new file called Guardian dot ex and in there let's just paste all the code we have and let's go over it so it provided us with a dev module my app dot guardian so let's change this by the app name that we have which is medium graphql api it's not in our web folder, so it's API that Guardian. Then we're going to use Guardian OTP app, my app name. And this app name is your app name in lowercase. So in our case, it's going to be medium underscore GraphQL underscore API. And then in here, we have four functions. So the first function is going to be the subject for the token. What is it that we're going to provide to this module that needs to put a unique identifier 
from the user into this JWT token. So in our case, we want to grab a user. Um, and what we want to do is we want to return an OK and a sub. And we can tell Guardian what this sub is going to be. So what we want to do is we want to say, OK, we want to grab the user.id because the user.id is a unique identifier um, which is going to be put in our token so we can look up that user whenever he makes a request then the second function we are going to leave for now whenever um, we don't get a user but the arguments is anything else but a user we are going to return an error then we have a resource from claims this is where we're going to look up the user so what we can do is say Okay, we have the claims coming in as an argument, and I'm gonna just gonna remove this. And what we will do is say, okay, our claims are gonna be a user, but we need to look them up. So we're gonna say claims, and the claims has a sub key, so we can take it out by doing that. And then we're gonna pipe it into our accounts. Dot get underscore user by ID and the ID is what we get out of the user because the claims are actually sorry the sub is actually what the ID is that we put in here so in the end we need to return a tuple which says okay with the user and the last one is also going to be a function but in this case we don't care what actually gets in here and we're going to return an error so because we use the accounts module here, we actually need to reference it as an alias. So we're going to say alias medium graphical API dot accounts. And now we are able to get a user. If we take a look, we can see that in here in our controller, there is actually a function. Where is it? Get user that looks a user up in our repo by the ID. And that's exactly what we want. So what Guardian is going to do, it is going to take our user ID, put it into the token. And whenever we get a token into this application, it's going to look up the user and it's going to see if the user with the ID that we put in the token exists in our database. So the last thing we need to do if we go and look at the documentation is we need to add your configuration. So let's copy this block and go into our application into our config folder and in our config file we want to add this copied code um, and say as a comment um, guardian config details and in here, in here let's paste what we got from the documentation and if we look at it, we can see that config takes in an atom with our app name. So in our case, it's going to be medium underscore GraphQL underscore API. Then our app name, which is going to be medium GraphQL API dot guardian. Um, the issuer is our app, which is going to be exactly the same as this, but then in a string. And then we need a secret key and the secret key we can generate by running this command and it's going to be a string so if we go into our terminal run this and we get a secret string out of our terminal and we're going to paste it in here okay let's save that let's clear our terminal so if we go back to our uh, session resolver, um, we can now fill in this blank spot. Because what we did is, what a with block does is it checks, okay, it's gonna run this function first and it's gonna pattern match it. We made a mistake there. It's gonna run this function first and see if it matches this tuple. Then it's gonna run this block but we haven't provided anything in here. So what we can do now is we can reference our guardian module. And in our guardian module, there is a function called 
encode and sign, which takes in the user. Okay, and I see that we forgot to import the modules, so we need to alias them up here because we're using the account session module in the Guardian module, but we're not importing them correctly. So alias uh, medium GraphQL, well, medium GraphQL API, uh, and we need the accounts and Guardian module, so we can combine them in curly braces. So we can say accounts. Uh, a comma and then we can say guardian and uh, let's save that and now let's see if everything works so if we run our server no warnings so that's good if we go to our endpoint we can see in our mutation docs that there is a login user mutation that's great so let's mutation the name is the login user. It expects an input. We need an email and a password. So we made it, I think we made a user bob dot bob at bob dot com. And we need a password, which is password. And what we can get back from this mutation is the token and the whole user object. And we're just gonna grab the ID, the first name and the last name. So let's see if this works, let's run it. And there we go, we got back our token and the user details, so that's amazing. And if we, we can see if this token actually contains what we put in there, because if we go to our guardian, what did we put in into the token, the user ID, and for Bob that is two. So if we go to jwt.io, we can decode the token. There we go. And we can see that it is issued by the our API. When it's issued, uh, when it expires, sorry, when it expires, when, it, when it's issued, um, and we can see that the sub, so that's what we put into the token, is the ID of the user, which is two. And that is absolutely correct, because in our database, Bob has an ID of two. So that's great. Everything is working. Um, we can get a token now from our API. Okay, so, so let's quickly clean up our Git branch. So let's stage this and this at guardian package then stage this at conf at guardian config then Let's add a schema first. So stage it, add login mutation to schema. Um, let's stage the two types at session types then the guardian implement guardian encoding and decoding Um, at session resolver and the last one is implement session controller 
All right, our Git branch is clean. Now let's get the server. Git status, that's clean. And let's finish this branch. So git flow feature finish. And push it to GitHub, git push origin develop. So what we want to do in the next episode is implement authorization. So whenever a user sends a token to our API and requests data, we can check the token to see if it's valid and we can check the role of the user and then see if the user is allowed to grab specific data from our API. Um, so that's what we're going to do in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Um, and if you liked the episode, please hit that like button. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one.